Hello everybody, welcome to this next episode of this blind let's play of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Yay! <laughs> uh, right, we are in the Flaming Fist Barracks. Didn't really show very much, did it? Just an obscure picture. Uh, we're in the Flaming Fist Barracks and we have investigated the Iron Throne for a little bit, although we haven't been to the top floor where apparently the big wigs are hanging out. But we've come back to tell Duke Eltan what we found. I am the law. I'm glad to have you back. So, what have you learned so far? Um, hmm. Uh, let's have a look. Apparently we know this. We know that any incriminating evidence would be found with real tar. The overall leader of the Iron Throne, he's currently supposed to be at Candlekeep. Then there is only one thing to do. Travel to Candlekeep and learn what they're doing there. Whatever it is, it can't bode well for the fortunes of this city. Take this book. Without it, the Keeper of the Portal won't allow you entrance into the library. Here also is the reward money that I had promised you. Your journey has come full circle. Duke Elton has asked that you travel back to Candlekeep, where you must spy upon the leaders of the Iron Throne. While it troubles you that such evil men now make use of the Great Library, and you wish the circumstances of your visit would be different, it will still be a pleasure to return to your former home. Full circle, eh? I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. I was expecting something along the lines of the, you know, with the emissary Tar or whatever she was called, and the negotiations, and that we were going to have to go up to the fifth floor and knock some heads together. I really didn't think that that was going to be what we were going to do. Oh my God! It's done it for us. What the hell? I was. I oh, wanted to have a little bit more of an explore. I was going to go back to the Iron Throne place. Thingy. <laughs> Duke Eltan has instructed me to return to Candlekeep. There I must find and investigate leaders of the Iron Throne, potentially exposing their links to the bandit groups. The Duke has given me a book. What? <laughs> now that's taken a bit of a turn that I wasn't expecting. Um, Flipping heck. Right. Uh, oh dear lord. So, back at Candlekeep. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, well, before we go in there, seeing as we've come all the way back out of Baldur's Gate and we're here, I think let's go visit Talanthia in High Hedge and um, get that thing that we can put potions in. <laughs> that bag. That thingamabob. Um, because that will help us with this terrible inventory management that I have. Um, I think that makes sense. We've been really struggling to manage our inventory. We're pretty close now. We've come all the way away from Baldur's Gate. That makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense to carry on and go and do all these little side, ca side quests that we've got left. I really don't think it does, but it does make sense to go and do that. So let's head over to High Hedge, I think. Right, gang. You right. I suppose also someone has suggested that right, what's this then? Edwin is an awesome mage. I seem to recall that he's a baddie. Um, but we have an extra slot and we are going up against some real nasty baddies and a wizard would be very, very helpful. So maybe we'll pop to Nashkel and see whether he's a baddie. I think he is a baddie. We weren't way late. Oh, remarkable. Um, right, let's have a look. Where are we? So that's where we want to go. I can't remember what that is. Right. I'm on it. I also can't remember if we left on good terms with Thalantia, if that even is his real name. I probably have got it totally wrong, but never mind. Come. I, th I mean, I think this is okay without breaking character. We've really been struggling to manage our inventory for ages now. And, um... 
I think, you know, candle keep, we need to infiltrate. There's no, like, it's not like we're going to smash our way in through the door, apparently. Um, and we have trekked all this way from Baldur's Gate, apparently, so... Let's see. Um, right, what's this then? Let's have a word. Why do I live in Hello, Thalantia. Um, I. I would like to speak with you, please. There is no mage here that wishes to speak or be spoken of. Um, yes, we're interested. Okay. Right, somebody told me that I can buy a bag from the land potion case. Yay! <laughs> oh dear me. And what is this book of ancient knowledge? What was it? History of the Nether Scrolls. The writing in this text is completely indecipherable and resists any such attempts at comprehension through normal magic. Intriguing! Right, what else? What else could we use? Because this is pretty awesome. Um, bullet of electricity? That sounds pretty nice. Bullet of fire? We'll get some of those for Jahira. You know what? Oh, are we done... Right. Potion case. Hallelujah. Oh my word. Get him in. Get him in. <laughs> uh, yes. And I must remember to use some of these stupid things because I never bloody do. But potion of invulnerability, for instance. We must be getting near the end of the game now. It's wise that we use those now, I think. Um, has anyone else got some potions? Yes, don't know what these are. I will go through it off camera, you know. I'm not going to resort to doing it on camera because I do this far too fucking often and I'm sure it's very, very boring for everybody involved. <laughs> um, yay! And what I will do is I will, I will find select potions um, that will be useful for people. Rather than just, you know, because I don't have to bloody carry them around all the time. I will leave antidotes and health potions there, though, for now. Um, although that can come with... That can go to Davidoff. Um, yes, that is what I will do before we go into Candlekeep, but I, I will do it off camera. Um, cannot give inventory full, fair enough. Uh, pop these in there. Wow! Hallelujah, and thank you, thank you, thank you to whoever it was that told me I could get this from Delantia. Um I'm not going to pretend like we know. Maybe maybe someone told us in Baldur's Gate, you know, in, in his breaking character a little bit. But please, let's just overlook this because the inventory management that I have done this game... Well, it's an offence to call it management, really. It's just... <laughs> oh, how much better it would have been if I'd bought this from the very flaming start. Never mind. Never mind. Right, get in there. Look at that. Look at all the spare slots. It's unbelievable. Right. Talent here. Um, okay, so let's see what else have you got. You have got all sorts. Robe of the Good Arch Magi. Wow. 31,000 gold. Whoo, we're almost pretty close. But we don't have a mage. And the Horn of Kazgaroth. I mean, what the hell are these things? Hmm. Intriguing. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Uh... Darts. I mean, can we buy any of these things? Cost forty-five thousand. Oh, because I've clicked on the. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's get some more elixirs of health. I think to buy those, and some more healing potions. Um, 
fire resistance, cold resistance, they could be pretty good. Potion of magic blocking. Um, immunity to spells of fifth level and below. Right, you know what? Let's get three, four. Oh, we can only buy three. Yes, let's get those. They will be very helpful. Potion of regeneration. Mm, that could be that could be pretty tasty. Um, hmm. Protection from magic. We have just bought those potions though, which do the same kind of thing. Right. Identify. Uh, let's have a look. Scimitar plus one. Great. Um, do we have anything else to identify? I don't think so. Okay, well, let's buy some nice bullets for Jahira. Bullet plus one. I quite like one of these elemental. Electricity, I don't want to buy them all. Electricity, ice, or fire. Um, I kind of like the idea of bullets of electricity. Let's buy you lots of those. Excellent. Right. I think we're done here. Let's have a look. Um, hmm. Wait. Uh, who, who just bought those? Did you hear it? Did you buy them? Bullet plus one. Bullet of electricity plus one. One D four plus one plus one D six electrical damage. Say versus spell for none. Excellent. Right. So what have we got there? We've got normal bullet. Normal bullet. Normal bullet. Okay, okay. I need to remember I've just bought those. I guarantee that I will forget. Um I've been surprised as well how you know you've got all these spots for stuff. And we really haven't found that much to fill them. You know, I thought by as we got towards the end, I mean, I'm assuming we're getting towards the end of the game if we've come back to Candlekeep, but we haven't really filled people out with that that much stuff because we haven't really come across that much stuff. It seems, which is which is a bit interesting. Which um, yes, and this is that chap who was a chicken, isn't it? Oh yes. Right, everybody out. Okay, well that was productive. Awesome. Right, off to Nashkel to try and find this wizard chap um, and see whether he. Sorry. I seem to recall he was a he was a naughty boy though. But we'll see, we'll see. There was a reason. Oh dear lord. Um. Go on. Right, Davidoff, you take one. Uh, can lead I? another. Yes, look another. Nature servant. Oh, Here, uh, let's get your quarter staff out. You take the one at the back. You're and Imowen, you I stand away. And now she. Oh dear. What you want? I am gone. Shoot. Good work. Good work. Someone's just you killed somebody. Yeah. Kill. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Okay. Go for it. Ah, get away from him, yep. one. I've done had enough of this. Okay, there we go. Right, there's that one. You come and help over here, do you hear her? I think you've got this one, lads. Excellent. Right, that's them all done. Sorted. Um, I don't know if we really need to pick any of this stuff up, to be honest. It's only going to be a bit of crap, isn't it? Oh, are you tired? I'm tired. I'm shat. Well, to be fair, we have just traped all the way from Baldur's Gate. Maybe if we get to Nashkel, we can find an inn. Have a rest. Let's, let's get to Nashkel. Excellent. Sorted. Ooh. Hello. Sorted. Never had rest. No, sir. We're shattered. 
Can we have a room, please? You close your eyes tonight. Oh, visions of oh dear Lord. swim into view. As you pass through the gates of the citadel, there is a flash of memory, and you are a child of only a few seasons once more. At your side is Borion, gray-haired even all those years ago. How old must he have been to age so little in the time since? Aged as he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrant, the keeper of the tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the inner keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open and Ulrunt storms out. He glances at you for a moment, but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers. But mark my words, that child will be the death of you. A flash of memory once more, and Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's happened? Oh. Gain special ability. Draw upon Speed. holy might. The priest calls upon his god to grant him power for a short period. When he does this, his strength, constitution and dexterity are all raised by one point for every three levels of the caster. A third level caster would have his abilities raised by one, while a twelfth level caster would have his abilities raised by four. Mm. I'm intrigued. Would Davidoff know to use this? I mean, I'm not a priest for a start. <laughs> I'm not really too sure about all these things, to be honest. I've used Berserk because I'm a barbarian and I get that, but these are tend not to use. I can rationalise that one in the woods as a bit of, you know, putting a plaster on, so to speak. But I don't know about these. I really don't. You rang. Um. Jeez, what the hell is going on? Go on then. Like these crazy dreams and man, I I'm just... on it. What the hell? What's going on? This is so weird. I seem to remember meeting uh, Edwin somewhere around here, I think. Right, what's this then? Ah! It's what you may call him. What's his face? Maybe he wants to come and join us again. I forgot his name, Rashad, although I think we sold his sword. <laughs> ah. And also, we've been carting this Bacillus' symbol round, but I'm pretty sure we don't have to come here and give it to you. you gather your party before venturing forth. Right, I'm pretty sure there? I've tried this already. Helm, watch over the upon um, thy quest. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, do, do, do. Can we give it to you? I don't know where it is or who's got it. Someone's got it. No, we can't. Fine. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. <laughs> Just repeating myself now. Come on. Right then, where's this Edwin character? Oh, maybe we killed him. Oh dear. Who's that? It sounds like... Oh, 
Did we kill him? I seem to remember he was wearing a red cloak. Oh. <sighs> that does sound like the kind of thing I would do. I can't remember. I've killed so many people in this game. I literally just can't remember. Is that him there? Don't know. No idea. Did he go over this bridge? Don't think so. Um. Right, fine. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Um. Right, let's have a look. Where are we off to? Uh, back to Candlekeep, then I guess. Although maybe we could pop in on Rashard. Let's let's pop in on Rashard. Hey, Rashard, how are you getting on? It's good to see you again. Come on, gang. La la la. It's good to see the guards are about. I hope you're not having that much trouble with bandits anymore. We've killed quite a few. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. May I tell you more about Salune and the Sansor monks? We already know about Salune, you silly sausage. Don't we? Go on. I have had trouble making ends meet since coming to Nashkel. If doing so gives me the chance to help others find their inner Welcome, light, my fellow Kalashites. I would be glad to join you. Do you seek enlightenment? Um, Not now. We got Rassad back. Hello, Rassad. Right. Do we have any armor? I can't remember if he if does he if he wears armor. I think um does he lose some of his abilities? Can't really remember. Standard. Right. Let's, well, let's give him those. Um. I had that, that again. Baldur's Gate so never ceases to amaze me. This was not my intention at all when I started recording that I would end up in Nashkel re-recruiting Rassad. Um Well that's just that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Can't really I think he's good with nin ninjatos and all that jazz. Let's remind myself. He is a monk. Good with katana, sling, or scimitar. Aye, aye. What level is he? Level 6. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, let's have a look. La la la. So, if we put those on him... Braces to the death goes from two to minus two. Excellent. That works. Um Okay, cool. Um And Rashad's talent, we still got it. See, we we secretly knew we were gonna come back for you, you little sausage. Right, let's put that in there for now. Ooh, is that better? Four to eleven. 1d8 plus 2. That's 1d8 plus 1. Thacko plus 1. Thacko plus 2. 1d8 plus 2. Okay, that's much better. We'll stick with that. Um, we don't have... Oh, you can't wear a helmet. Fair enough. And you probably can't wear armor either, can you? Um, right, have we got... Let's get some health potions and give those to you and a couple of antidotes there we go let's get those in there and we have some wands can you use use wands? no you can't no you bloody can't so we've got all these flaming wands and we can't use them <sighs> Never mind, never mind. 
And let me remind myself, what are your spells? Hmm, so you don't have any spells. So, let me remind myself, what do you have? Sun Soul Ray. Undead creatures, okay, let's have a look. Dealing 1d8 fire damage every two levels to a single target. Undead creatures take an additional six points. Flaming Fists. Turns his fist into flaming weapons, deal an additional 2d6 fire damage. Duration increases two rounds. Okie dokie. I thought he had spells. Don't know don't know why I thought that, because because I can't remember anything about this fucking game. <laughs> I promise, I, I've loved playing this game, but I just cannot, for the life of me, remember anything that I've come across. It's just, it's just terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. Um, let's have a look. Uh, no, it doesn't tell me. Um, let's have a look. Description. There we go. Uh, make a sun solve once per day. Flaming fists. Sixth level gains an additional use of Sun Soul Ray. Uh, sun Soul Beam. So you can go all the way up to level 15, and we're only level 6 or 7, and we're already towards the end of the game, it would seem, if we're back at Candle Keep. So, interesting. Very interesting. I'm very. Hmm. Anyway. Awesome. Well, good to have you back, Rassad. Good to have you back. Come on then. Sorted. Come and help us. Well, as I say, that was not my plan at all. Uh, <laughs> oh dear me. Would you believe it? Um can't let's oh I know. I was gonna say. Um one second, one second. This will tell me, won't it? Let's have a look. Armour. Who can't not usable by monks, which I think probably applies for all of it. Yeah, can't use by a monk. Jahira can't use by a monk. Okay, so I'm not. I was thinking, you know, maybe we would go I'm to uh, Beragos or something, pick up some armor, but there's no point. So let's just go to Canalkeep. You appear troubled. Does a shadow lie upon your soul? Um, I mean, we've been through all this. Do we have to ask it again, just so you'll stop asking us questions? It seems so long ago that I first uh, joined. My mother yeah. gave up her own life to give life to me. Yeah, pretty sure well, I remember no this. His his yeah. Left yeah, 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 yeah. From that day forward, we learned the mysteries of Salune and trained our bodies, minds, yeah, and spirits sure, yeah. to spread her yeah. love to others. Um, Indeed. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. How may I enlighten you? Uh, oh dear lord. Well, Why did you come to Nashkel? Um, yes, yes, yes. My masters and blah 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 blah. The monastery abandoned. The nearby res at last. Through stealth, subterfuge, and patience, we the local residents feared uh, shall yes. too much to keep us. But again and again, we overheard one name uttered in fearful whispers. Who is this Alagoth? Um. Yes, okay. That's enough. Thanks very much. Okay, now stop talking to us. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. So, we're back at Candlekeep. This seems like a, an appropriate place to stop this episode. And what a random episode it's been. That is not what I expected we were going to be doing this episode. <laughs> but we've got Rassad back. Hello, Rassad. And um, we're back at Candlekeep. I mean, flip it, heck. And uh, yeah, let's try and figure out what the Iron Throne's doing in our home. <laughs> anyway, join me next time uh, when we'll find out more about what the hell's going on. All right, cheers, guys. Bye.